back at WesterCon 71 with bids for future conventions. In 2019, the Worldcon is outside of North America, and therefore there will be, there is triggered a NASDAQ. The election to choose the site of the 2019 NASDAQ is at this year's Worldcon in San Jose. There is one bid filed, that is for Layton, Utah. It is a bid to hold it in conjunction with WesterCon 72, next year's WesterCon. Uh, the chair of that bid is actually still in transit to this convention. However, Mike Wilmoth is here to uh, say a few words about the Layton, Utah bid. Hi, everybody. For those who don't know me, my name is Mike Wilmoth. I'm representing the uh, WesterCon 72 and NASVIC bid for 2019 Layton, Utah. Uh, Kate could not be here. She's the chair. And uh, because of her flights, she had to miss this event. But she designated me to talk briefly to let you know that she'll be at the fan table upstairs on the second floor as soon as she gets settled in. And they will be throwing a party. I don't have the details at this time. But you can get all the details from the fan table and any um, uh, pre-supports for the NASVIC bid, uh, WesterCon 72 membership, that sort of thing, or will be available there. Layton is north of Salt Lake City, up toward but not as far up as Ogden. So it's not in downtown Salt Lake City, it's, out in, 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 it's in the northern yes. suburbs. There was a conflicting event in Salt Lake City, uh, barbershop quartet kind of event that pretty much took everything so they could not be in Salt Lake so they opted for late. So the event, uh, the WesterCon is seated so it will be held at the Davis County Convention Center, the Hilton Garden Inn that's attached and two other, three other hotels, uh, the home two suites across the parking lot will be the party hotel and then there's a um, Hampton Inn and a Holiday Inn I think. Uh, that are already contracted. Should the NASVIC bid also win, they have the option of expanding the function space in the convention center should they want to. So they've got some flexibility built in. But the cluster comes already seated, so I hope that part's a good deal. That is a good question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is Layton, Utah uh, available from the train station in Ogden? I'm not sure. I mean, Actually, I don't know the exact close, but there is you, the, the train, the, not the light rail, but the heavy, the, well, the, the, the yeah, heavy rail. Oh, the, the, oh yeah, track, the uh, commuter rail. It's the commuter, well, there's, uh, yeah. The on, train. The train, yeah. There, the commuter rail, the commuter rail has a station near, like, in the Layton area, but I don't know how close it is. And I don't know necessarily, I've, I've looked at it, but I don't know what its accessibility is from Amtrak. Uh, the nearest station is Salt Lake City. Uh, there is no there is no Amtrak station at Ogden. Please check with the chair of the fan tank. Yeah. Uh, Kim, Sandy. How do you get from the airport in Salt Lake City to Layton? Uh, I think Kim can answer that. I can because I did it in March. Why don't you come up here? Come up here. Come up here and tell tell the camera as well. We got about two minutes, left, two three minutes left. Kim is also part of the convention, right? And the view. Yes. Um, getting from the hotel to the convention is possible. It's easier than in this city. Um, mm -hmm. The train station and the airport are both in Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. There is commuter rail, and the Hilton Garden Inn will run a shuttle between the station and the Hilton Garden Inn. The home to suites is directly across a small street, um, and they're also part of the Hilton Corporation. So the Hilton Garden Inn is taking the responsibility for the shuttle, for the uh, transportation, and they will drop you off at either hotel. So if I understand this correctly, you would fly into Salt Lake City Airport, That's what take, I take the train into to downtown, mm -hmm. and then ride the commuter rail up to the Layton ah, Station, and okay. then call and then get the shuttle. But it is all very, very walkable. I am going to be 70 real soon now, and I have a very bad heart. It is a lot easier than Denver was to get here. <laughs> All right, I guess. Two more guys. Has that convention site been used for other science fiction events? Yes. Um, the annual gaming convention is there. That has about 1,700 people. Um, and the anime convention. Yes. I would use cosplay. Yeah, I was going to say it's cosplay and gaming that are in that same site. And, and they're very fan-friendly. 
We've got time for one more, maybe. I guess we don't have one more. Okay, again, go up, talk to the, their fan table or their party tonight. Again, you have to be a member of this year's Worldcon in San Jose to vote on the site of the 2019 NASA. And the voting for that is $30. $30 voting fee for that that uh, translates into a membership. Leave the parties tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, yeah. Okay. Right. I don't have it. Don't have it. But yeah, I'm sorry. But go to the table. That's where you get more of the information. All right. So that's, she gets here, she'll have the flyers for the party. That 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 concludes bids for future. Western Cons, World Cons, and Nastics, thank you for your time.